Here's a technique straight out of the pages of the Photoshop 7 Down and Dirty Tricks book to create electrified type. It starts off very simply with a new document with uh, black text on its own layer. It looks pretty well if you uh, use a nice thick font like this one. doesn't really matter. You can experiment. And the first step is simply to command or control click on the type layer to load it as a selection and then we can hide that type layer and now work on the background layer. Now you may wish to add a new layer in there as well above the background so you have a bit more flexibility. That's your choice, but basically we'll just do it right in the background layer for this particular case. It's very easy. Now we're with it selected. We're going to go to the edit menu and choose stroke and we're going to put a nice thick stroke of say uh, 8 or 10. Actually let's use 8. That's fine. Make sure it's set to outside. However, it's probably defaulting to some other number so set it the stroke to 8 outside black. Click OK. And at this point, we can deselect, so can Command or Control D to deselect that type. Now we'll go to our filter menu, and we're going to first of all add a Gaussian blur. And this is where the experiment starts, somewhere in the 5 to 6 kind of number is good. You really want to blur this stroke type quite dramatically so you get different amounts of gray and black and shading in there. Now we go to the back to the filter menu, and this time Render difference clouds. So render difference clouds. And there's no dialog box, it just applies it. Now if you're not entirely happy, you can press Command and Control F to try a different one. And each time you go back and forth. Now if you end up with it looking black like this, then you can press Command or Control I to do an inverted effect. Now that's probably a little too much, so let's just undo back a few steps. Somewhere around here looks a little better. And again, press Command and Control I to invert and now we get that kind of electric type look. You can still sort of see the word. At this point we have now some options. We could add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Let's just pull this up here so you can see it. And we'll just colorize this making it maybe, I don't know, blue would be a good choice perhaps. Something in the dark blue range. Nice and saturated. Now we could leave it just like that or there could be some other options. For example, you could decide to show the text layer again, and I'm going to fill it with white. So I have white as my foreground color, Option, Delete, or Alt Backspace to fill it with white. Although, of course, we should be on the correct layer, Dave. So let's try that again. Fill it with our foreground color, white. And then at this point, we could lower the opacity down so it's kind of there, but not so noticeable. And there we have a pretty cool technique, pretty simple to do. And as you can imagine, it gives you all kinds of other possibilities. Check it out for yourself. Try out and see. I'm Dave Cross. I hope you enjoy this little video tip. We'll see you next time.